One of the more powerful features of Build a Button is the ability to create a mail merge of buttons. This makes it possible to produce a large number of buttons, each with unique text on it, such as people's names. Let's take a look at the process involved. First, I need to load the button design that I've created for this purpose, so I'll click the Upload to Edit button on the File and Save tab, and then I'll click the Choose Files button so that I can select the saved button design. I'll go ahead and click on that file, and then click the Choose button, and then I'll click the Upload button to actually load that design. You can see that I have a button design here, and it includes some text that I've used as a placeholder that I actually want to insert people's names into. This text box needs to actually be empty in order to create the mail merge, so I'll go over to the text area and delete the text so that that text object is now empty. Then I'll go to the File and Save tab and click on the CSV File to Print option. I can first choose whether I want to save the print layout as a PDF document, a JPEG image, or a PNG image. I generally find the PDF option most convenient for printing, so I'll leave that set and then click the OK button. Then I can specify a file name for that print layout that is going to be created. I'll just type Wolverines and then click Save. Finally, I need to select the CSV file that I've created containing, in this case, the names that I want to insert into the individual buttons. You can see here that I've created a spreadsheet that contains all of the names, and I save that as a CSV file, or a comma-separated values file. So back in Build a Button, I'll click the Choose Files button, and then select that CSV file, and click the Choose button. I'll then click Upload, so that the CSV file will be uploaded and processed. Once that processing is completed, you'll see that you can download the individual files that were created. The number of files will of course depend on the button size, meaning how many buttons can fit on a page, as well as how many names were on your list. I'll go ahead and click the button to download each of those files. In this case, there are five of them that contain the various buttons with unique names. The location where those files are saved will depend on your web browser preferences. In most browsers on the Windows platform, you can press Ctrl J on the keyboard in order to bring up a window that shows that location. And for some browsers on Macintosh, you can press Command plus Shift and the letter J to bring up that window. In this case, I've set my preferences so that downloads are saved to the desktop. So I'll go back to my operating system and browse that location, and you can see that the PDF files have been saved there. And if I open up one of them, you can see that each button design on my page has a different name based on that CSV document. So as you can see, it's very easy to create a mail merge of buttons so that you can have unique text on each button using Build-A-Button.